guys, last week I posted my hair care routine video. If you have not watched that, then please go and watch that before you watch this video because today I'm going to go over the products that I actually use on my hair because that video was kind of just like a day in my life, follow me around type video, whereas this is going to tell you exactly what I use, why I use it, why I love it. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump right in to the products that I am currently using for my hair. So in the video that I filmed about my hair care routine, I believe the first thing that you see is my shampoo and conditioner. Now, this is, the shampoo is 100% pure Yuzu and Pomelo glossing shampoo, 100% natural, 100% vegan. This is for healthy, glossy locks, that's the purpose of it. And this one is 100% the conditioner, honey and virgin coconut restorative conditioner to restore dry, damaged hair, 100% natural and 100% vegetarian. Do I like these? Yes, now I don't have a whole lot to go on because these are my first like completely natural shampoo and conditioners, but I do really like it. I like the smell, I like the consistency. You know, I was scared that it being 100% natural, it would be really thin and watery. But if you are looking for a shampoo and conditioner that lathers up, this is not it, and you are gonna have a hard time finding a natural shampoo and conditioner that does. The next product, or the next thing you see, I guess I shall say, is just a 100% cotton shirt. You can use any shirt. The reason I use a shirt instead of a towel is a towel creates a lot of extra friction. It's really not good for your hair. Um, the material is usually not good for your hair. And shirts are really great for no poo or low poo because first of all, you know, it has just like a shirt, you could plop your hair inside of it. There's also a method called plopping, which a lot of people that do more natural, low maintenance hair care use to curl their hair. So it gives you a natural curl. So basically a shirt is just all around a good idea for this route. Plus I find that my hair is really long and I have a ton of it, so it's really heavy. And when I put it in a towel, the towel is just so heavy on my head and it's pulling at all the different hair on my head and it's just not comfortable, so I prefer the shirt. The next product that you see me mention in the video is this Acure Moroccan Argan Oil. Argan oil is always a good idea no matter what. It's a superfood, it's rich in vitamin E. Most people use argan oil for their um, hair, but a lot of people use it for their skin, for their nails. It's basically an all over good idea to have in your house. I use it just kind of as a restorative thing for my hair because it is getting summer and I do work out a lot. So I just, it's just an extra dose of vitamins and goodness for my hair. The next item, this is gonna be my favorite item that I mentioned and I think every single woman should own this no matter what no excuses you need one of these in your life um, and this is the satin line cap or better known as the slap by grace alia it has the inside is 97 yeah 97 percent polyester so it's like a silk material so when you're sleeping your hair is in this all night. You know you're always told to use a satin pillow to kind of reduce friction and just to keep your hair from matting and just an overall protection. That is what this does for you all the time. The concept of this is that you wear this anytime your hair is subjected to kind of harsh situations, harsh climate. So um, you can wear it just as a regular beanie. I wear it when it is cold outside. So it kind of protects your hair from the frigid, frigid, frigid cold. Um, you can throw all your hair inside of it. I also use it for bedtime. I wear it around the house. I basically wear this thing anytime I can. Now you are not gonna see like an instant gratification thing. Your hair isn't gonna, you know, you're not gonna go to bed with damaged hair and wake up with amazing, voluminous, healthy hair. Uh, but it will, over time, keep your hair protected. Definitely get this. Um, they actually provided me with a link to post down below because I told them how much I love it and I wanted to include it in this video. So I will post the link down below where you can go, ooh, excuse me, where you can go to get this. Something weird just happened with my sinuses. That's gross. 
Um, the next product that I'm going to show you is my Numi. This is a 32 millimeter magic wand. I swear by Numi. And I know you hear it on YouTube all the time because everybody and their mama has one. Everybody talks about Numi, but that is because it is just that good. I swear to you, if you ever see my hair curled or done up, I have used my Numi wand. But it is just a really great wand. They have all different types and they're constantly having sales. So if you are not following me on Facebook, you should do that because just last week I posted a sale that you could get one of these for $29. This wand is $149 usually. So follow me on Facebook. I post deals like that all the time and in fact I will post deals right now that are live in the description box so look out for that but it also comes with a glove a lot of people don't wear the glove and i'm like why not why not wear the glove it's there use it you know so you don't burn yourself but definitely if you can watch for sales and invest in a new me want the next product i'm going to show you is a wet brush this is the only brush that i allow to touch my hair i had to say that like that because i need you to know how crucial this is to my hair care. The reason my hair is so healthy and so long is not only because of the method that I use, but because of the care that I give to it. The wet brush. There are tons, I'd say probably like five different kind of variations of wet brushes and different brands. I cannot speak for those, but I can hands down recommend to you the wet brush. They come in all different kinds. They come in like paddle brushes and smaller brushes and compact brushes, traveling brushes. So my camera cut off, but what makes the wet brush effective and so efficient is because it has super duper duper tiny bristles. So the bristles are meant to be really gentle on the hair while promoting the tangles to detangle. So I only use this, no other brush, and I also use it on my five-year-old daughter who has extremely curly hair. I'm talking her hair is ringlet. The wet brush, I don't have any like special code, but I will leave their website below so you can um, look into that. The next thing that you see in the video is my extensions. Um, so I keep them actually in a little container like this, which maybe some people would think is obnoxious, but I don't care. And the reason being, because I wonder if I could take this up, I don't know. I keep them inside on a little satin pillowcase. That way, again, they are treated just like real hair because they are real hair. I want to put them on a material that isn't going to cause friction and ruin them. So these are the Dolce Vita hair extensions. I, ooh. I'm kicking my camera. Um, I don't have a ton of experience with a bunch of different extensions. So I know there are probably better brands out there, um, but these ones work for me. And talking about the hair extensions, again, the only brush that I allow to touch these extensions is the wet brush. I'm completely illiterate when it comes to extensions, but I'm just telling you what I know, girl. I'm telling you what I know. I don't ever act like a professional or like I know more than the next person. I just know what I know and that is what I share with you. And then the last thing I'm going to discuss, I'm just going to kind of throw it in there. Another thing that I do to keep my hair healthy and to make sure that I am treating it with love and care is I use a lot of hair clips. So I don't ever hardly use the little um, hair bands like this. Pretty much I use these whenever I am curling my hair, which you saw in the video. So I guess I should add that. I use the just the goodie ouchless um elastics and it has no metal elastics so they are really well oh goodness um, i have nothing against the brand it's you know they're good they stretch they don't leave dents in my hair and that is what i use whenever i am curling my hair i throw it up on a ponytail on top of my head and i curl the pieces in the ponytail but other than that i pretty much use clips all the time and i will a lot of times clip my hair back and then braid all of this so that it's out of my face while also not just being there. So you can never have too many clips. And that is it. Those are all of the products I'm currently using with my hair. I will leave, you know, websites, coupon codes, anything I have down below in the description box. For the next video, I want to do two different videos. I want to do a video 
discussing why I went from water only to a low poo option. So if you would like to see that one first, please leave a comment down below. Like maybe before you write something, put one. Um, and also I want to do a video about your most frequently asked questions about these products, about my current routine. So if there's anything you want to know more about, anything specific, if you want to know more about Numi Wands or 100% Pure or whatever, um, I could do that video as well. So leave a number two if you'd like to see that video first. And then also I want to do a video, just a general frequently asked questions, no poo video. I do those kind of often because I receive the same questions over and over and over again. So whatever you guys want to see next, please leave it down below in the description box, or not in the description box, in the comment section. If there's anything else you want to see, let me know. And please be sure to favorite, share, comment, whatever you could do for these videos. You are helping us create more fun, educational content for you guys. And I guess that's all I have to say. So until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.